Welcome to our drawing lesson where we're going to come up with a cartoon character using a single shape. The shape we're going to have a go at doing in this lesson or using in this lesson is a diamond. So there's not a lot of options with diamonds of what sort of characters we can do besides a diamond. But one character I thought of that we could do is a diamond shape is a kite. So we're going to have a go at doing a happy kite. And I'll show you a few little variations as we go, but it should be fairly simple. So the first thing we need to do is draw our diamond shape. So draw with me now. It's like a top of a triangle. Make it a little bit longer. And then underneath, we're going to make like longer lines down the bottom. So it's a bit longer at the bottom. But if I drew a line across like this, it's like two diamonds, or two triangles. In this lesson, we're going to have a go doing a simple cartoon character using a single shape. And the character we're going to have a go at, or the sort In this lesson, we're going to have a go at doing a simple cartoon character using a single shape. And the shape that we're going to use for this character today is a diamond. So there's not a lot of characters that we can do with a diamond. Uh, apart from a actual diamond or a shield maybe but the character I've chosen to have a go at today is a kite and we're going to make it a happy cartoony kite so let's start off with the top part of our kite it's going to be like the top of a triangle one line like that and another line like that and then we're going to do some longer lines on the bottom so one line one line and now we're going to do some longer lines down the bottom like it's a triangle upside down so I put a line across like this it looks like two triangles one upright and one standing on its head so do that for me and then once we've got that the next thing we need to add in is our eyes we're going to give it a cartoony face so this guy's going to be a happy character so I'm going to do one big circle like that and I'm going to overlap it on top of another circle like that so I'll draw that again for you the bigger they are the more excited he's going to look so I don't want him to look too excited even though I mentioned he's got a fantastic view up there so he might be excited and then inside those eyes those two circles and we've overlapped them if that's a little bit hard for you feel free just to do some circles next to one another I'm going to add in my pupils so I'm going to make them nice and big. I want to make him looking at me, so I'm going to do that one a bit closer. So I've got two circles for the eyes and two circles for the pupils, and then we'll add in some shiny bits. And you can fill them in black if you want to, or you can leave them to colour in a bit later. Now let's add some eyebrows. So I'm just going to do some simple lines for his eyebrows. Let's add a mouth in. So I'm going to give him a very big smiley mouth and some cheeks. And I might make it look like he's really happy to see you. So let's do a curve line underneath. Another curve line for the tongue and then you can colour in his mouth. So I'll do that again for you. We started off with the curve line for the mouth. We added in one cheek and then another cheek, which are curved lines. You could leave it like that if you wanted to, but I came along and added another big curved line, another curved line, and then black. So it looks like he's got a nice big open mouth. And if you want a little bit of detail, you can add a line under like that. Okay, so we've nearly finished our kite. Very quick character. Let's add some arms. So I'm going to add, I know kites in real life may not have arms, but cartoon characters do. So I'm going to give him some arms like this. And on the end of these arms, I'm going to add a thumb. Which is just like a sausage shape. And then I'm going to add, so there's the thumb. And then I'm going to add in some more fingers like this. So I'll add them in 
You can see how they look in position. Now this can be quite hard, so if it's a bit hard for you to do the hand like that, you can just do it like this. And you can just do it like that. Just like that. So whatever is easiest for you. And then the last thing we need to add is his tail. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways we can add his tail. We can just do a big long wiggly line like that, because remember he's up in the air. Another line next to it. I'm making it very thin because it's like a piece of string. And then if you want to, you can add just some triangle shapes like that. So that's one way we could do it. The other way is that we actually draw a bit of the tail. So we curve it around. And then I might add a little circle bit. Maybe I could curve around like that. Of course, you can add as many as you want to. I'll just add a few. And by doing that little circle bit in the middle, it actually looks more like a bow as we'd imagine it. And we'll just do it a little bit like that. So take your time on it and add as many as you want. Now the last thing we can do is we can do a couple of lines like this because often they'll have some lines on the kite. You could add a pattern to it if you like. Because he's in the air, I might do a line down like this, like as a string. And we might imagine that he's moving in the air so we could add some movement lines. And of course he is in the sky, so we could add some clouds. could even add a bird or something if you want to. But simple clouds like this. Now if I draw them a bit smaller, they're going to look like they're further away than if I draw them close. And inside the clouds you can even do some more shapes, sort of lines, curvy lines like that. And we can add some more movement lines and there's our kite. So I hope you had fun doing this lesson. Make sure and share your pictures with people around you uh, to give them some pleasure and enjoyment and seeing your characters. With these characters you can ink them in and colour them. You can also add a speech bubble to him and sort of make it more of a cartoon if you've got a funny idea of what your kite could be saying or doing. Please come back and check out new lessons. We're putting them up regularly. And uh, this is part of a series doing simple shapes. Okay, have fun and enjoy.